All right, today we're gonna be talking about overtraining. Is it a myth? Is it something you need to be concerned about? And we've got three questions here. One's from Robert, one's from Grillo, and one's from uh, Hamza. And uh, they all ask the question in a different way. Is there such thing as overtraining? Overtraining will benefit you when you go back to normal training, true or false. There's been a recent trend saying that overtraining is a myth. Is overtraining actually just a myth? Okay. So to the first one, overtraining will benefit you when you go back to normal training, true or false? Uh, true, I'll explain that in a moment. Is there such thing as overtraining? Yes. Um, there's been a recent trend saying that overtraining is a myth. Is overtraining actually just a myth? Uh, no, it is true, but here's the deal. Um, first off, I wrote a great article on this and um, it's on my website. I'll post a link for you below and it was um, muscle uh, It was muscle building number six of my top ten muscle building mistakes and uh, That mistake is under training syndrome So everybody is familiar with overtraining syndrome, which is a real problem. It has negative side effects, but here's the truth. 99% of you watching this right now will never in your life ever experience the true definition of overtraining. All right. So 99% of you write that down will never ever experience uh, overtraining. And this isn't my opinion. Um, in fact, sports scientists are overwhelmingly concluding that individuals will never reach a true overstaining overtraining state. And this is because the research done on elite athletes has found that athletes have the ability to tolerate up to a threefold increase in training volume for not one week, not two weeks, but three weeks. Okay. So let's, let's interpret that into your world. That would mean that you take the current workout you're doing right now, do it three times more in the same week and then repeat that for three weeks straight. And 99% of you will never even come close to doing that. So, um, I mean, even myself, when I went to Charles Poliquin's five day hypertrophy boot camp last January, we did three individual workouts per body part per day, five days straight. And I would say that's the closest I ever came to um, overtraining. Uh, but really what it was, was overreaching. And this is where people get confused. When you start experiencing um, changes in your sleep patterns, uh, a decrease in appetite, this isn't over uh, training, this is over reaching. So do not confuse the two. Um, overreaching or overwork, another way to describe it, is basically described as um, a short period of time where you deliberately increase the amount of work uh, where it exceeds your current level of ability. Okay, so you're basically doing more than you're accustomed to uh, for a short period of time. And this is known as overreaching. And when it's followed up by a period of underreaching or deloading, if you will, or active recovery, if you will, um, you're going to experience a greater super compensation after effect. So what that means is that you're going to experience greater gains when you drive that fatigue curve lower uh, compared to um, times where you just do your normal, um, you know, your normal workouts. So here's how this worked in the real world for me. It took me seven full days to recover from those 15 workouts in five days. But in turn, uh, and this is what we were told by Paul Quinn's coaches before the camp started, there were 17 students, we're all natural trainees from literally around the world. There were students from the UK, from Australia. Uh, uh, I was I think one of the only Canadians and there was a bunch of uh, Americans there. And we all went through this, fifth, this protocol, 15 workouts in five days and on average, everybody gained five pounds of lean mass in the five to seven days afterwards. And we were clearly instructed not to do anything. So no deloading, zero activity. And within that period of recovery, our body super compensated. So uh, a lot of people will experience the same thing when they excessively train, they overreach intentionally for a short period of time and they follow up with, um, with a deload recovery phase. This is what we teach our hypertrophy max students. Three weeks hard, then one week we back off. So I hope that clears things up. So I'm gonna leave that article for you guys to read. 
uh, check it out. It's called undertraining syndrome. And really what the what you need to be concerned with is not overtraining, but undertraining. 99% of you guys are undertraining. You're not anywhere close to even overtraining. Many of you are overreaching, but uh, I want you guys to shift your perspective. And um, you know, this trend of um, over training being a myth is actually not a bad trend. It's actually getting guys to start thinking about maybe I'm not doing enough as opposed to, oh shoot, maybe I'm doing too much, which in my mind is a very uh, mediocre mentality. It doesn't, it's not a, a great attitude that supports anything that you do in life. So um, let me hear your extreme overreaching experience. When did you do the most intentional overreaching and followed up uh, and then followed it up with some intentional deloading and what kind of gains did you experience? Because I know there's people out there that um, have had similar experiences, experiences as me and I think it'll be really um, impactful for the people who are still skeptical to start seeing, oh, maybe this is something I need to start considering. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and be sure to read that article below for um, further learning. And I'm also put a link down there below to a program that will get you way outside your comfort zone. It's my 1000 rep muscle workout. And a lot of people think that this program will lead to overtraining, but really it's a perfect example of overreaching. So go check that 1000 rep muscle workout out. It's a 28 day program. And if you want to put it to the test, I suggest you give that one a shot as your next workout program. We'll talk to you guys soon.